Hello everyone and welcome back to part 5 of the Eternal Cylinder Beta. As previously said, this is all based on live stream footage so you might notice a couple of funny interactions. And as always, I hope you enjoy the episode. Yeah, screw you mate, farty pants. You ain't farted on me today. And you. No, Gegrimo died. Oh, look at it! It looks so depressed! Oh, I can resurrect- Oh, no, no, no! I can resurrect it! Give me a sec. Which one has a trunk? Uh, none of you. Oh, actually. Frost does. Okay, good. So that happens again. I can scare it away this time. Meanwhile, you, friend, you require four. That's my first one! That was a chunker! No! No, oh, I'm sorry. He's gonna have to stay there and, you know, just suffer for a while. Or eventually get crushed. That, wait, where even is the next tower? I actually can't see. It's right ahead of me. Okay, good. Right, I think it's time to roll. You wish the planet was real? It does look really cool, doesn't it? I absolutely- I love the environment, man. They did such a good job with the environment. Like, it feels- it feels alien, but it still feels like, you know, perfectly- I don't know, like, how I'd describe it. Familiar? Oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna assume if I fall down there, I'm dead. Yeah, just, just call it a hunch. I've got a feeling that's gonna be the case. Whee! I wonder if actually, if you fall down there, that's saved from the cylinder. You know, assuming you don't die to the fart air. I definitely feel like it's getting quicker each turn. I know I've been saying that a lot. Ah, <gasps> oh, incubator! No! Well, see ya. Oh, 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 crap. Um. Oh, dear. <gasps> I might have stand up for this. Oh, no! No! Still up to friend! Leave me alone! Ah. Oh. Right! Apparently, that tower was nowhere near as close as I thought, or I missed one entirely. Remember to check your water and energy before attempting to run to the next tower. The travel needed to be in good shape to outrun the eternal cylinder. I did! They were, they were in good shape! No! Hmm. On the plus side, the auto save was recently. Let's go check that out quickly. I could have sworn. Maybe I missed it. Maybe there's another town that was closer by. I think I may have tried to go for like one that was too far off. So, for those who are wondering what it's like to get crushed, there you go. We've got a little incubator thing there right there. Is that like an egg nearby, maybe? There's an egg right there. That's, that's cruel. Look at that. There's an egg right behind the force field. And the incubator's right there. That's just cheeky. Oh no! That little egg friend's gonna be forever dead. I mean, I guess I could technically, like, quickly incubate it. But, yeah, that's that's not really gonna be that ideal, is it? That'd be risky. Right, is that the only direction I can go? It seems like it is. I did just try it a moment ago and it failed, but hey, you never know. Let's try again. Yeah, I think it's safe to say last time I just took the wrong path. That definitely seems like the case. Oh god, it's coming in fast. There we go. Yeah, safe to say I just took the wrong path last time. Happy to be wrong. Oof. Good. Oh God! Oh! Cylinder roared with fury. The voice of their memory spoke with great urgency. The Trebum had to be very careful now. The cylinder would lash out at the land, but it would not let them run too far. To survive, 
they would have to stay in the eye of the storm. Why would do that? Wait, I have to stay in the eye of the storm, so I take out to stay inside this thing? Come, come, come with me, come with me! No, I'm assuming I have to go in that! No! Friend! Come back! Or are there any towers? I don't think I can see. There's like a tower all the way to the right. That's far away though. I lost Annie! That's really cool. Oh my hunger in water is so bad though, and that's that's a new biome. That looks really cool. I'll check out that if it lets me. <laughs> Little building there, the building's so cool. Right. Looks like a um, oh, it could be like a church or thing there. Oh well, too bad for to get crushed. Right then, note to self do not try to follow the floating disc friends. Yeah, they do look really cool, don't they? They look really cool. Oh well, that goes that pretty building. Aww. Huh. Well, that escalated quickly. I was not prepared for that at all. Wait, get up, get up. Hit it, he's gonna keep going. Hold on, um, it's moving slowly. I feel like I can afford to observe. Is it going to keep going? No. Okay, good. Alright. Wow, that was interesting. Where's the next objective? Over there. As frightening and surprising as this enormous creature was, oh? <gasps> the Trebum felt a sense of relief to see it descend from the sky. This Whoa. was a celestial being they'd been told to seek. Perhaps it held an answer to their troubles. As they approached the colossal creature, their optimism faded. It did not seem to like them at all. And now they realized what terrible danger they were in. What? If this creature guarded the way to some holy place, then that place must lie below it. And being so large, the creature most likely could not see what was in front of it or beneath it. So perhaps the size of the Trebom was an advantage after all. Perhaps they could reach the platform right under the serpent's head. Okay, well first things first, I'm dying. Right, that's really cool. Okay, so uh, first priority then, she's get like all of our food back. So I've got a feeling we're gonna need a, lo a lot of it. That took a very abrupt turn. That's me thinking of some, like, you know, really chill, explorative game. <laughs> Never mind. I do not have a trunk, so I can't get out of way. Hydration's a little bit bad. We've got a lot of energy, though. Or a lot of hunger, anyway. Wait, come on. Suck. Right, then. So, what do we have here, then? Filters top of the fumes, allowing the Trevum to safely explore areas full of poisonous gas. Well, there you go, then. Right, then. Let's go ahead, then, and get you out. That was freaky. Wait, did I get a friend? Okay, well, that seemingly did nothing. Great. <laughs> All right, let's go explore this little area, then. Oh, wait. Hi, friend. You, you don't see me. Nothing's here. Okay, that's interesting. Should we go ahead and run through? Just hope that this is the right thing to do. We got another incubation thing there, so it's probably going to be an egg somewhere nearby. Let's go check out this all clearly lit path here. Yeah, it's kind of creepy, isn't it? It's really cool, though. 
use this. Aha, egg. We need three. Ah, right. Oh, hello, friend. Okay, so the one from that nest finally appeared. Or the one from the uh, little house I unlocked it from. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right, so that one may not have even been from the, um, from the, what do you call it? Little house incubation thingy. Right, so this we've got Grolu. Who am I gonna name Grolu after? I'm gonna name this one, I think, after Dawn. Hello, Dawn. <laughs> Welcome to the eternal cylinder and getting crushed. Oh, I just saw something there. May as well grab a couple more of them. In fact, that's a point. Are these guys not being poisoned? In fact, oh, you all have freaky little filtered noses. That's actually pretty cool. So I guess this particular um, effect then is group white. That's really handy, honestly. Relieved at having best of the gun, Ooh. the Trevum now found themselves seeking the help they had been promised. Who would answer their questions in this place? Okay, what's this then? I think that may have just been a jumpy one again. Leapy legs. Uh, yep. Leaping legs. Okay, so I'm obviously gonna need that for a while then. There doesn't seem to be anything here. I mean, just call it a hunch. I can't really see anything from that direction. But judging by the leaping legs, I'm probably gonna have to go down here, right? Yeah, more than likely. Ooh. Can I eat these? Yes. It says a lot, right, about a game when your first instinct to anything is, can I eat it? <laughs> oh, actually, these give abilities. Hold on. I'm glowing! Luminescent skin! Oh, I love it! Can I make them all glow? I... It's probably a bad idea, but I really want it. You know what? I'm gonna do it because I can always just go to one of those freaky uh, light things later and just cleanse it off, can't I? Oh, I want a little glowing friend. And one more. Oi, oi, gee, gee, gee. Come on. There we go. Gee. You two shall glow. <laughs> That's really cool. I like that. I just realised, I think gee so far is our longest lasting Trebum. It's only died once. <laughs> As opposed to everyone else is, you know, currently dead. Poor little things. Okay, so, we're just going to check out the stairway first. I think this is just bringing us back to where we jumped off, right? Oh, actually, no, that's a point. Now that we've got that, we can actually see everything. Uh, I do want that. I would like the jumping one and all of them if, pos if uh, possible. Right, tell you what, actually... Oh, his eyes are freaky. So, it seems obvious, right, now with the glowing ability, we want to go check out the shadows. So before I check out the shadows, I do just want to, you know, explore the rest of the area down here. There might be something hidden, you never know. This game does, a habit, does have a habit of hiding things. <laughs> I love the little sounds that they make, it's so cool. Otherwise, I think... Oh, I'm glad I checked. Oh, actually. That kind of looks like a little bit of a bonus area right here, doesn't it? Or maybe? Nah, I think it might just be terrain, to be honest. But I'm glad I checked. It's got a few more minerals. A bit more crack dust. Aha! Lots more crack dust. Worth it. I love games that like to explore. It's really awesome. Even with the light, the maze was difficult to traverse. Was there some clue in the structures on the walls? Was the path of sand on the ground meant to help them? Perhaps others had walked in this place long ago and tried to leave a path for those who would one day follow them. Ooh. Why, hello. I was just about to say, oh no, mazes, and then I just see something over there. Uh, right, so, ooh. Okay. That's ominous. There's a couple of freaky little mushrooms there. Right, first of all, let me just quickly give the remaining one. You can now also have the jump effect. That was odd. The air was levitating just here. Now then. Mazes. 
Mazes on stream sucks. We're all gonna suffer for a moment. Bear with it. However, I would like to try and get my way up there. Can I just jump up there? Oh, well, there you go then. Perfect. There's me overcomplicating it. I thought I'd have to do some funky parkour, but nope, just jump. Oh god, lots of jump. Oh, and I just need to those things off. <laughs> I love how that's a thing, by the way. Right, so we've got a new Trebonite. So we're gonna go ahead and have a quick little look at that then at the Compendium. So we've already seen the blue Trebonite. That's the one that gives you a lot of uh, hydration. And by the way, it was once used as a popular cocktail ingredient, which I absolutely love. Otherwise, yellow trepamite. Yellow trepamite has a nourishing effect on trebum. Well, that's cool. <laughs> all right then. After that great big long description, all that really matters is the uh, the nourishing effect. So we have these. Let's hope it's simple. It's pointing an arrow. Let's follow the arrows. It. It, it really was that simple. It. <laughs> Talk about overthinking it. I expected it to be like quite a bit, you know, more <laughs> in depth, but no, it was actually. Oi! Okay, it turns out it actually is a bit more in depth than that. I like mazes, so to be fair, I really enjoy mazes, just not on stream. I find mazes on stream can get uh, a little bit stressful. However, with all these little happy arrows everywhere, this actually is a much more straightforward than I expected. I thought it was going to be something, you know, obnoxious. Right, well that indicates I need to spray something, but I'm not seeing anything to spray. So I guess maybe it's indicating for like further in. Oh. It's a seal! I'm so glad I resurrected Guy. I thought I needed a cube and there's a cube right there, a little cube slot. Thank you goodness. Right, we don't want any of that. I think all this is just mushroom. Yep, all that is just mushroom. So what is up with this little statue here? Can I interact with it? Switch to a jumpy one. Whee! Can I interact? No, I can just mount it. Well, that's not good. That's not what I wanted to do. Before I check out the square, what do we have over here? Bars, lights, a little hexagon platform. Oh, we got something up there. Come on! Together, friends, let's all um, splash it. I nearly said the wrong word. <laughs> I guess. Let me just go ahead and in inhale it. There we go. I think it'll be easier. To th there we go. Easier. Right, this one. What did this one do again? It gave me... That was the third eye, I think. Right. Who do I want to give the third eye to? None of these have a trunk, but they've all got like, a good jump, so I guess it doesn't really matter then. It's whoever. Yeah, it does look stupid and funny, doesn't it? When they all use the spray ability at the same time, it just looks very questionable <laughs> and silly. Okay, there's a lot going on here, isn't there? Right, in that case, let's have a backtrack. I do want to check out the little square uh, thing. Maybe the square area is a bonus then. I assumed it would be the, you know, the main path, but it might be a bonus instead. Let's check that out. Ooh. Hello, giant friend! Omoa the Eldo, you are mate. I thought my first guy was chunky. a happy moment. The Trevor asked how they might survive the cylinder, and the Elder replied, I can feel your fear, little ones. Ever since this cataclysm began, we have been seeking ways to stop it. But the cylinder is relentless and indestructible. It will consume everything in its path. So, perhaps what we need to do is go behind it. I have discovered a mutation that allows us to rise into the sky. You must seek a weeping tree from which grows a special fruit that floats as it becomes ripe. It is the key to the transformation I have undergone. With it, you can use geysers to float well above the cylinder's height. 
My only regret is that I have grown too old and weak to help you with this task. If you find any glimmer of hope on the other side, remember me. Farewell. So, you know, I understand they're going through hard times, as I said, it's a cataclysm and everything, but did it really take them that long to figure out to go over it? <laughs> but I, I don't want to crap on his brain, but that's a little bit, you know, like, come on, mate, you should have figured that one out a while ago. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, so he, that's probably the, the uh, exit, right? Sadness and fear oh. filled the Trevum's hearts as they left nope. the Elder's Cave. Their only path to salvation was full of uncertainty. And they could not forget the thing they had seen lurking behind the cylinder, casting a dark shadow over this glimpse of light. And on that rather ominous note of wisdom, we're going to be ending the episode. Thank you all very much for watching, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers.